Ms. Jain, good afternoon. Thanks so much for coming in. Appreciate your time here on Power Lunch. Uh, so let me just first start by asking you, you know, we tend to uh, talk about your company every time we try and track the monsoons. Uh, but short-term variance on monsoons uh, or, you know, one season or week monsoon uh, is not something that you really see uh, reflecting on your uh, demand, on your volumes or your earnings, does it? Uh, no, thank you, Ira. Uh, it does not because you know short term monsoon or delay in monsoon would impact mostly the farmers uh, who are dependent on rain fed irrigation. So if the rains come they grow something. They are unlikely to be our customers and in any case it is too early to talk about monsoon. It might still come, uh, it is already passed through good amount in terms of southern state, eastern states and part of the western states. It is not there in Gujarat and northern states and it might still you know follow through in next one week or two and it would not have any impact then. But otherwise, uh, you rightly surmise that it does not create an impact for us. Ultimately, it would create impact. If you have two, three bad monsoons, there is no water to irrigate the farms, then it would impact our business. But in the short term, it does not. In the longer term, though, sir, I think I started by saying that, you know, we are still so dependent on the monsoon that there is a push to get the irrigation systems in place. Uh, that was reflected in the fact that the micro-irrigation scheme was given national mission status. Uh, any uh, sense you have in terms of how that would impact you? I'm guessing that has a potential to grow your earnings uh, quite uh, rapidly if there's a national mission status, there's more spending on irrigation systems uh, which you provide. Uh, yes, uh, it would happen. You know, if, if you talk about rain-fed irrigation and the monsoon-dependent agriculture, if you look at overall India, India is about almost 140 million hectares of land under cultivation. Now, 50% of that land or 50% of farmers depend on rain-fed, uh, you know, the rains to grow something. The remaining farmers have access to water, like, you know, canals or rivers or whatever else. Now, government is also trying to bring other farmers, which is the remaining 50%, to become irrigated farmers and that also provides opportunity for us because instead of using open canals the government can use piped network and then use drip or sprinkler so they can save water and increase the number of the area which can be brought with using the same amount of water so that's an opportunity there but coming to the normal irrigation which is you talked about the mission uh, you know the already the government is committed with through mission we expect more funding to come from the government that would ensure that we should have sustainable growth of about 40 to 50 percent going even going forward uh, into this business that's on one side on other side government is supporting because of the food security issue more production of oil seeds pulses cereals and grains so demand for our irrigation system would also come from that angle right so 40 to 50 percent compounded annual growth rate you're talking about you're talking about this year or is only in the irrigation segment of your business in the irrigation segment of business in the current year, we should grow 40 to 50 percent. But because of the mission as well as the other things which are taking place in rural Indian agriculture, we think we can sustain somewhere between 30 and 50 percent. It's very difficult to put a number together because it depends on so many factors. But we think a very high growth rate number can be ensured, you know, over a longer period of time, 3 to 5 to 10 years, that kind of period. Because penetration levels are low, water tables are low and productivity level is low. So, and our system helps, you know, uh, solve all of these three issues. Therefore, we are very bullish in terms of our growth numbers. Uh, sir, in the slightly shorter term, there have been some concerns on revenues coming in from Andhra Pradesh. I have read that you are hoping that Tamil Nadu revenues would make up for that uh, shortfall. How are things standing in a slightly shorter time frame this quarter or next quarter? Uh, in shorter time frame, you know, Andhra was a major issue last year. But despite the problems in Andhra, overall we had a lot of growth in other states. So our irrigation business uh, last quarter, March quarter, grew 46 percent. Uh, even in current quarter, we are expecting business to maintain that 40 to 50 percent ratio. Uh, might be on the ups uh, higher uh, side of that band. And even going forward with higher prices, farmers are getting for cotton, sugarcane, pulses. Uh, we expect demand to remain robust, and we should maintain this growth rate for the entire year. All right, Mr. Jain, uh, thanks so much for stopping by. Great chatting with you. Lots of interest in your company, and it certainly seems like the push towards building irrigation.